what's up? I'm Tyler Dalton, the artist and pirate. Welcome to my shop. I have been doing some small videos on Instagram um, from my woodworking and now I am doing a lot of work down at the local makerspace Steam Junction in downtown Burlington. But right now we are in my current home shop which is about a mile and a half from the makerspace. So this is my shop and let me give you a quick tour. Believe it or not, this is where my woodworking journey started. This shop was actually my grandfather's shop and when he passed on, it was kind of just left in a state of limbo until I come out here and started picking up more skills and just self-teaching. But my original teacher and my greatest teacher in woodworking will and always have been my grandfather. Um, it started with a desire just to come out here and light this up and just sit by the wood stove and listen to my grandfather's stories. But then, I guess it's a guy thing, when I come out here, then I started noticing the tools, the shops, and some of the projects he made, and then I started taking a curiosity into it, and then I, it just progressed from there, you know. We started cleaning up this, maintaining this. If something was broke, we'd fix that, you know. And it was just all a bond with me and my grandfather, because he was the original one that built this shop from the ground up. All of this is his design with my modifications now that I've t um, started doing my own thing out here but what I've got here is just a lifetime worth of memories this is my sticker swap display um, a lot of um, people who mess with wood or do woodwork and have stickers I have my own sticker and what you do is you send a sticker to a friend they send you theirs back and you highlight it and post it on your social media to kind of get their name out there, get your name out there. But if you've got one, you can send me one and I'll put it up here. And this thing is in my shop and it'll do a constant rotation all day. This is um, some of my scroll saw work. Um, these, um, if you really look close, you can tell a progression and how my skill has developed with a scroll saw from some of my earliest projects to some of my most recent. Um, some of my recent favorites are this cross, the um, nautical cross, the shark tooth, amazing grace. But my all-time favorite piece I made when I was about 16 years old is this twin Celtic dragon. It took a lot of work. It took me about a week to cut this out with all the details around the cross. But um, that was something I made a long, long time ago. And I've just been um, challenging myself making more and more stuff. These are the two scroll saws I use. Both are made by Delta Machinery. Um, this one was my grandfather's, and then my grandfather bought this one for me. This one is set up to do thicker stock with a thicker blade. I don't know if you can see it. And then this one here is the workhorse in my shop. I've got it set at an angle to reduce neck strain for when I'm out here a long time cutting out something. I've got a project lined up. And I've got a chair here. I used to scroll saw standing up, but then the first time I scroll saw sitting down, I was like a world of difference. I've got a foot pedal here for easy stop and start and stop, which actually makes it more or less like a sewing machine. This table right here has a lot of reverence for me because this was my grandfather's workbench. When I come out here, or when I'd visit him out in the shop, when I was 10, 11 years old, he would always be working at this bench. And so this is kind of my memorial to him. He was a member of the Beekeepers Association. This is me and him. I don't have many pictures with him because he was not a man that really liked the camera. But he was a hardworking man, and his name for his shop was Dink's Hobby Shop. Um, I've got his hat here. I think this was the last hat he bought and really wore. He always wore a baseball cap. But um, this was his coffee cup. And just some of the stuff that he'd done. This was one of his homemade beekeeping tools. He was, um, when he was out doing his he bees. He also bred rabbits. Um, he was the Purina Award winner several years in a row. The champion in 95 and 96. And he won various ribbons at various fairs and shows. Um, he loved to hunt and fish. Just a true outdoorsman. And I cannot thank him enough for the lessons he has taught me. Um, this is where I store my scroll saw blades. These, this is the top brand I use. It's through a company, a mail order catalog. You can order them online, Scroller Limited. Um, this is just medical test tubes I ordered off of Amazon. You got like 12 or 13 for $5. And what I've got them in is a toothbrush holder. 
I think it works out great and I can it's the tubes are clear so I know what I'm going for I've got all the ones I use labeled and got them um, by company everything and I think it just works out great I'm at my scroll saw and I'm just going to show you a typical interior cut interior cut means I'm starting with a piece inside the wood I've got pilot holes drilled so basically all of the black will come out and all the white will stay in and it will give you a visual of a celebrity in this case it is unknown Henson he is a music star based out of Charlotte Charlotte North Carolina and um, I've listened to some of his music he's a great guitar player so I'm just going to start by cutting this out The first of many cuts on this project. The goal here is to remove basically all of the smallest pieces first before you so this part right here I will this will be my last cut for the inside pieces and then I'll go around this red line I've drawn as the frame that'll be my last cut on the project but right now this little small piece that'll be next and then I'll only have a few more cuts left and then this project will be done what I'm doing, in case you don't know, is called a technique called stack cutting. And for that, this saw has to be at a perfect 90 degree angle. Um, that's the reason for these little nails. Um, basically, when I get done, I'm going to have two pieces for basically the effort it takes to cut out one. Let's continue on. happen how much life do you get out of a blade uh, it depends um, it depends on how often you saw how much detail the thickness of the wood or even um, the density of the wood um, I use a lot of pine and a lot of quarter inch plywood so I can get um, um, one blade to last sometimes a week sometimes three or four days I mean it just depends Um, it rounds the, the back of the blade is square so um, it will just basically increase speed and cutting corners a lot tighter and plus when it's machined the back of the blade is rough and it can catch in the wood
Now I gotta find where that blade broke. Right there. Clean that up. And clean up. Right there. Now did I? Yeah, I did. It gives it more stability. If you, if I, instead of just coming in like that and going into the frame, if you drill a hole and bring it in that way, everything's kind of locked in place. See how it looks. And as I stack cut it, and a piece of poster board I also got a stencil so if I ever want to cut them out again I don't have to go in print it out pull up the file print out another pattern and then worry about placing a piece of paper and a bunch of tape I can just trace around it now that all the scroll work is done for right now what I'll do is I'll take all these I'll sand it um, I won't go to a high grit with it with the detail especially in the eyes like this but I'll take another piece of wood about the same thickness and I'll paint this probably black or um, if he has a traditional color I'll do it that color but then I'll do that and I'll glue it to here and then I'll trim out once again I'll stain it seal it and then it'll be ready to go again I'm the artisan pirate this is this is my shop I hope y'all like it um, my work is available at the maker made store at steam junction the local maker space I am open to teaching classes tutorials um i mainly specialize in the scroll saw but now i do i am learning more trying to learn more every day everybody is an artist everybody has a skill you just have to discover it mine just happens to be messing with wood hope you all have a good day Good boy.